and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, what causes eye discharge or drainage in cats? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Elderly cats have eye discharge due to viral infections such as feline herpes virus 1 and bacterial infections, such as feline infectious anemia. Other common causes of leaky, watery eyes in cats include allergies, injuries, parasites, and fungal diseases. With respect to today's topic, the causes of weeping eyes and drainage can potentially lead to larger issues. Some triggers that could seem harmless can unfortunately become, at least at times, Symptoms of a much greater concern. Here are some of the most notable causes of weeping eyes in felines. Viral diseases such as feline herpes virus 1 or feline calisi virus. Systemic bacterial diseases such as feline infectious anemia. Systemic fungal diseases such as feline blastomycosis, a localized fungal or bacterial infection inside of the eye dust, dirt, or cat fur aggravating the eye, injury, allergies, dust mites, flea bites, grass pollen, fragrances, foods such as beef and fish, just to name a couple, irritants such as the wind or foreign objects, tear canal problems, and parasites such as the disease known as toxoplasmosis. And as we mentioned, any collection of the aforementioned symptoms or causes can lead to the following issues. Conjunctivitis, commonly known as pink eye, it's an inflammation of the conjunctiva. This is the pink membrane that surrounds the white of the eye and serves to line the inside of the eyelids. Pink eye can cause discharge, squinting, and redness. And on a personal note, I had pink eye some 20 years ago. It was not a fun ride. Of this, I can tell you. The next issue is Ebifora commonly known as the standard watery eyes. And here again, many of the causes we noted a bit earlier can usher in this very problem. Just too many tears. That's the most basic way to describe it. And just like pink eye, I'm sure there are many people watching that have overactive tears due to a variety of irritants, pollen, changes in the weather, eye strain from looking at your phone or computer for just too long. When it comes to your cat, this can turn into a mess. Wet and drippy eyes. In some cases, the fur directly underneath the eyes will stain. And another common cause of weeping eyes. And the final one that we'll speak about in this subsection is keratitis, or more commonly known as an irritation or inflammation of the cornea, which is the dome-shaped layer of protection in front of the eye. Keratitis can cause the cornea to appear rough and damaged. The result is often some level of weeping and discharge from the eye. Here again, keratitis can impact both humans and felines alike. And just to put a nice bow on things, the three most common causes of eye weeping in felines are based on a symptom collective. Standard allergies, irritants, dust, debris, and even injury. However, it's important to note that not every cause is based on an external factor that directly impacts the eye and the eye alone. Sometimes weeping and drainage is the result of an infection such as a virus or another form of contagious disease that can impact the body as a whole. If your feline has contracted a virus or contagious disease, we encourage you to be mindful of the following symptoms. The discharge is colored, yellow or green, rather than clear. The discharge has a mucus-like texture rather than a watery texture. The discharge is in both eyes, and the cat has flu-like symptoms. While many infections of the body can create side effects that negatively impact the eyes, there are four diseases 
that are somewhat regular players in this game. We'll begin with feline herpes virus 1, also known as FHV1. Many felines will contract FHV1 at some point in their lives, remaining dormant in the body for years. Once the virus flares up, it can create flu-like symptoms that I discharge. Stress and anxiety, of all things, is often the trigger that releases the virus from its dormant dwelling. Another troublesome virus that we'll note today is feline Khaleesi virus, also known as FCV. It can trigger an upper respiratory infection in addition to runny and inflamed eyes. Symptoms such as sneezing, coughing, gasping for air, runny nose, lethargy, limping, and reduced appetite are common. FCV must be treated in the early stages due to the fact that felines can often acquire secondary bacterial infections that could become quite aggressive and very serious. We've mentioned pink eye in this presentation, and roughly 30% of cats with pink eye have our next concern, which is feline, and let me try to pronounce this real slow if I can, <laughs> chlamydophilia, more commonly known as feline chlamydia. Unlike many other conditions, cats with feline chlamydophilia phila, chlam chlamydophila, typically do not display flu-like symptoms. However, a thick mucus in both eyes is very common. And forgive me, I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm more laughing at myself. If you've been around this channel for even a month, you know that that's my thing. So <laughs> I'm not laughing at the, the issue. I'm laughing at me. And I, I encourage everyone to laugh along with me right? And the final disease or the virus that we'll discuss today is feline infectious anemia or FIA. This is a bacterial disease caused by a collection of mycoplasmas or specialized bacterias that pass between animals and leach off their blood. FIA can cause pink eye, weight loss, lethargy, and fever. This blood disease is extremely serious and can be fatal if not treated. And since we are on the subject of contagious diseases, more specifically medical issues that impact the eyes and lead to discharge and drainage, how exactly are these diseases transmitted? It should come as no surprise that felines that go outdoors on a regular basis or cats that live with other pets are at a much greater risk. Infectious diseases can pass between animals in the following notable ways. The sharing of water and or food bowls, licking and grooming each other, Sharing a litter box or going to the toilet in the same patch of earth, obviously referring to the outdoors. Close physical contact, or as we would call it in current times, a lack of social distancing. And lastly, shared bedding. And speaking to this subtopic as a whole and everything we've covered thus far, if your feline has runny eyes, you should isolate them from the other animals within your home until you've had a chance to schedule a vet visit. Another eye condition that certainly deserves our time today is uveitis. When the internal portion of the eye, known as the uveal tract, becomes inflamed, the result can be quite serious and potentially lead to blindness if left untreated. Squinting, attempting to rub or paw at the eye, the third eyelid becoming visible and the appearance of a cloudy eye and redness of the eye are the most common symptoms. It should also be said that corneal ulcers mentioned earlier can develop and turn into uveitis. In many cases, the primary cause of uveitis is a systemic disease, such as a feline herpes virus 1, a fungal disease, or a parasite. When it comes to the proper treatment, your vet will determine if the discharge is caused by a systemic infection, injury, allergy, irritant, or something else, and then recommend a suitable treatment. This may include oral antibiotics, antiviral medication, eye drops, surgery to unblock the tear canals, and keeping your eyes clean through the means of cotton pads to dab the eyes, and vaccinations contagious disease prevention against the herpes virus and Khaleesi virus. It's important to separate your cat from the other animals in your home during the healing process. Thankfully, most conditions that trigger eye discharge and drainage can be cleared within two to three weeks with the proper treatment. 
And if you would like to know more information concerning today's subject matter, in addition to info concerning the vision, health, and wellness of senior felines as it relates to the natural aging process, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.